Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we're discussing the Omega DeVille Trezor in stainless steel. The Trezor line was first launched in 1949. It was relaunched as a precious metal dress watch line at Omega in 2014, and the model you see here in stainless steel bowed for the 2019 model year. So the watch in steel is 40 millimeters in diameter, 10.8 millimeters thick, 44.5 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on my wrist and you can immediately see this manual wind watch is one of the slimmest modern Omegas. Certainly one of the slimmest Omegas of the coaxial era. It sits easily with a narrow lug-to-lug -lug span, a low profile that mitigates against fit issues when wearing a tight sleeve or dress cuff. This is a dress watch par excellence, and I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. Taking a quick look at the hardware and the software, we have a very simple pin buckle in steel, as you would have seen on historic dress watches. We have a large rectangular scale alligator leather strap with a matte finish a monotone stitch, and actually a folded edge. Sheer cut is more common, but this is a folded edge for elegance. We have calfskin on the bottom. You will appreciate it is an Omega factory strap in outstanding condition. The case is simple and strong as a dress watch should be. We have tapered lugs. Everything is of high polish. There's a lovely compound curvature to the case. If you look very closely, you can see there's a bit of a character line that runs above the belt line of the watch. So there is a little bit of an inflection where the side profile curves upward and then across that inflection it curves sharply downward. It's there, it's subtle, but you will see it and it's most evident in the very subtle beveling of the edge of the lug profile. We have a vintage inspired domed Omega logo crown, a very shallow conical bezel, and then a sapphire with a generous camber and a box section profile that's designed to evoke a vintage plexiglass on the dial. All applique indices with doubled indices at the four corners. We have polished hands, and you can see that the minute hand as well as the seconds hand have been rolled to avoid optical perception of malformed hands. We have a little stepped frame for the date, and the watch does include a independently mobile hour hand, so you can travel east or west, even driving the date forward or backwards as you do. And then, of course, if you pull the crown out all the way, you do have a hacking seconds function. 30 meters water resistance, so it's not an aquatic watch, but on the reverse side, you can see a manual wind conversion of the 8900 series automatic, and it does bear fruit in two different ways. First, it makes for a thinner watch. Without the winding bridge, the rotor, and the associated mechanism, this is a thinner timepiece. Two, it has a longer power reserve. The twin barrel automatic 8900 has a 60 hour power reserve. This is 72 hours. Now you have the features I showed you on the opposite side, but you also have twin barrels, which is important because there are 72 hour single barrel movements, but they see a big drop off of balance amplitude after 24 hours, after 48 hours. That doesn't happen with two barrels coupled in series. Now we have a full balance bridge with a free sprung balance for shock tolerance. We have an anti-magnetic escapement and an effectively amagnetic silicon hair spring. The watch also has a tri-level coaxial escapement, which if you look very carefully, you can just barely see underneath its separate bridge. Across the bridges, we have a arabesque spiral Cote de Genève. We have both polished and blackened screws here. The watch is effectively amagnetic, anti-magnetic to over 15,000 gauss. And the watch goes through the master chronometer or METAS chronometer certification, which entails six position testing to exceed the ISO 3159 that governs the COSC chronometer test. But then there's also power reserve testing. There's also anti-magnetic testing, water resistance testing, it is a fully resolved test of the entire assembled watch. That is the way you're going to wear the movement. This is a movement that pivots on 29 joules. And as you can see, there's a lot to love here. Aesthetically, it's all machine finished, but it's handsomely and thoughtfully machine finished. The balance beats away at the silicon hairspring specific beat rate of 25,200 vibrations per hour that you'll find on every 
Silicon Hair Spring Swatch Group Watch from Omega all the way to Mido. This is a versatile and handsome everyday driver. If you don't need to swim, the DeVille Trezor in stainless steel can be your one and only watch. And if you do need to swim, well, you've got a Seamaster for that. Reach out to tmosso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.